Hello guys, what her sorry, Electro TNT here. I keep messing up on that because you know I just got my new channel set up and stuff, so what can I do? But um today I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to factory reset an iPod touch fourth generation. I know it's kind of an old iPod touch, as you you can even tell from the cracks in it and stuff, but first you want to go from your home from your home screen find your settings application which should look like this this doesn't work if you're jailbroken so make sure that you're not jailbroken then you want to go to the very bottom of general and click reset and then here's the important part Erase all content and settings. And then click Erase iPod, Erase iPod. And it should look like this. And once you get it to look like this, it should continue to um, load. So while it's doing that, I'll just talk to you guys. Well, you can keep looking at this, but it's, it goes by pretty fast. Um, this YouTube account was created so that I could... Hey, look, there's me. This YouTube account was created so that I could um, make my Machinima videos and um, actually upload them and be partnered by Machinima. And I didn't want my old YouTube channel to be the one partnered by Machinima, so I decided to change it. Um, and after I already signed up for Machinima on my old channel, so if you guys can support me and uh, I might be able to join Machinima and then be able to bring you guys more tutorials and Minecraft videos and um, stuff like that. Maybe some horror games, because I like playing horror games. Um, some fun games like Amputee, um, Scribblenauts. What else? Grand Theft Auto. And so, yeah, here it is once it's done. iPod is what it should say. Hold on, let me get it to. Huh, oh well. You guys saw it, didn't you? There you go. Now you saw it. You want to select your language, of course, you're probably, you probably speak English because you are watching this video, and you can understand it. Then you want to go to United States or wherever you, whatever country you live in. Um, sorry, hold on, I'm gonna have to close out of iTunes. Okay. So, I'm going to have to type in the password, so you guys go ahead and sit right there. Perfect. Sorry, it's kind of a long password. Alright, so it should be joining now. Um, there. Now you just want to click next up at the top. And it'll say activating your iPod. Now it's going to ask you about location services. I'm just going to click enable because I like location services. Um, set up as new iPod Touch. Restore from iCloud backup or restore from iTunes backup. I'm going to click set up as new iPod touch. And if you want to um, have all or have nothing on your iPod but the factory stock applications, then click that too. If you have an iCloud backup on your account, then go ahead and click that if you want to restore to that. Now if you don't have an Apple ID, click right there create a free Apple ID or you can just go ahead and click skip this step if you want to skip that step if you want to skip this um, 
but I'm going to sign in with my Apple ID. So, yeah, you guys can look at my TV. No, that's, no, that's going to make you sick. I don't want you guys getting sick. Um, again, this is kind of long. I like long passwords and stuff. That way they're more secure. Next, it's going to ask you to agree to the terms of service. I did that because, you know, almost everyone skips over that and just clicks agree anyway. Nobody really reads it. Now, you want to click use iCloud if you want to use iCloud. I always use iCloud because, you know, it's the best. Back up to iCloud or back up to your computer. I'm just going to back up to iCloud because I can always back up to my computer whenever I want to. Um, use Find My iPod Touch. I really don't care if you guys, like, try to FaceTime me or something. That'd be actually pretty cool for me. Automatically send the diagnostics and usage. And then click Start Using iPod Touch. And there you go, you have the stock, the stock applications for, um, for iPod Touch 4th generation. Um, I hope this helped for you guys. Um, it only works on iOS 6, I think, maybe. Maybe even iOS 5.1.1 and all that, but, um, I think it only works with iOS 6. So next next video, I'll be showing you guys how I make my iPod Touch uh, tutorials and stuff, gameplay videos, what recording software I use on it. Um, so please make sure that you rate, comment, or like, comment, and subscribe, which, you know, you don't really have to do that if you don't really like my videos, but... If you do subscribe, it means a lot to me. Thanks. Bye.